Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, we're going to dive deeper into using text. Uh, we're going to talk about flowing text around like a picture or a different picture frame, uh, an image frame. We're going to be learning how to get text from an external source file. I'll just start with a blank document here. Um, that's basically what we're going to do, those, those things. Uh, so first of all, let's just go to, I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm going to search Scribus Wiki. We'll find some text from the Scribus Wiki. And I'm just going to copy just some text like this. I'll highlight it, right click, and go to copy. Now I'm going to open uh, my Notepad editor, which is Notepad++, or you could just use regular Notepad. And I'm going to right click and go paste. So I have some text here, and I'll go File, Save. And I'll save it on my desktop. And I'll call this text.txt and hit save. So now I have this text file on my computer, on my desktop. And if I want to get this text into my document, uh, what I'll do is I'll go and I'll draw a text frame first of all. So we can just draw like maybe like this. And then we could, we could just double click and go control V and paste that text every time. But we could also go right click, get text and then navigate to that place on the computer where it is, which is my desktop, and go to this test.txt. And now that text comes right in here, um, which is nice because then we can go into our, like our story editor and we can change the style of it. If we had some styles here, and we can you know, change the font and the look and the color, uh, the, everything we want to do with it. Um, so that's one way we can do it. In the past, we've just right clicked and we go sample text kind of a similar principle. This just grabs text out of a sample file that comes with Scribus. But just know that, and that's nice because it, a lot of times for publications, you'll have different writers or journalists. They'll just email you the text, and then you can always just copy it out of the email, or maybe they'll email you a file like a, a, a Office, LibreOffice writer document or something, and then you can copy it. I think we can read. I'm not sure if what all we can read. Let's go to get text. So the supported formats for this are we can do a doc file, so we can do like Microsoft Office. We can read from a .txt file, .csv. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's about all. So, but it can read doc and docx, which is pretty cool. So a lot of files that pe people would send you, it can import uh, those files. Which is also nice because we don't want to be using Scribus, for example, for our spell check and to kind of and to, to type. You wouldn't want to write like be typing in Scribus. You want to type this up in LibreOffice or a different word processor and then just import it in by right clicking and going get text. All right, now what I want to show you is, let's say we have, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's make this the whole size of our page. And let's say we want to put an image in the center of this. So I can go to my uh, image tool here. We can draw an image frame. And we can actually right click and go get image and I can grab this image here that we've used before. It's much bigger than the frame, so if I want to shrink it down, I can go right-click, adjust image to frame, makes the image fit in the frame. But now my frame's really big here. I could manually try and get it smaller, or I can right-click and go adjust frame to image. And now I have a nice, perfectly sized image frame for my image that I have here. Again, um, we can we can do that different ways too. We can do that manually by right-clicking and going into properties and changing the width and height of that over here as well. Uh, okay, so let's bring that back. What we want to do now is flow the text around this image. So we want to put this in the middle. And right now we see over here in our properties, it is, oops, uh, I double clicked and made it big on accident. But I double clicked again and it shrunk down. It's on level two. If we want to put this down to level one, we see the text is going over top of it. So it's behind the text now. We don't want that, we want it to be up. We want it to be on top but we want the text to flow around it and not go through it or behind it. To do that, we click on this shape option. And shape lets us change, well, it changes the shape first of all. Look, we have rounded corners. We could make this more of like a rounded, like a circle, but the text is still going behind. So maybe I want to keep it a circle. I kind of like that look, but I want the text to flow around it. So right here it says text flow around frame disabled. We want to say use frame shape. So whatever the shape of the frame is, uh, and in this case, even though it has this this box around it, it's actually the shape that we made it. So it's this circle. So the text kind of goes around there. Um, and we can change the text settings to make it fit better. And so, so the, see how it looks on this right side? The text is really close up to it. 
Um, we can make it, in fact, I don't know what we'd even do there. Let's right click and go to text properties. We might just do a line center. So that looks a little bit better, but there's different ways we can do that. Um, on our paragraph effects, I think, or not effects, but on uh, somewhere on our paragraph settings, we can change that so that it'll have a nicer look there. We'll look at that in future videos. But anyway, now if we move this around, wherever we move it to, the text is just flowing around it there. And again, we can change the shape of it. We can sh make it larger or smaller. And no matter what we do, it'll just, whoa, <laughs> it'll just stay, the text will stay flowing around it. So that is using text to flow around uh, an, an object. In the next video, we're gonna learn about using some different shapes and we can apply the same thing under the shape option. We can have text flow around these shapes as well. Uh, we can have text flow with inside of the shapes. Uh, so yeah, a lot of cool stuff we can do there. In fact, we, we can control the shape of this uh, text box. It also has a shape option when the text box is selected and we can give, the sh give it rounded corners. See that? And so we can actually make the text within here be rounded and then flowing around. So lots of different options we can do. Play around with that shape. Any object you can select, whether it's a text frame, an image frame, or some shapes that we'll draw later on, you can always control uh, the shape of it and control how the text interacts with that shape. I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the next video.